uh, the fields. And if you're not sure how to do inserts, uh, go back and watch the video on that. I have a whole video on doing um, basic inserts. So division, customer, sales rep, amount. Okay, as you can see here, I'm not uh, I'm not specifying the sales date in here, so I'm just doing division, customer, sales rep, and the amount field. I'm going to skip over that so you can see how it uses the defaults. Okay, values one. Uh, let's see, like that. So that was the customer. Uh, the sales rep will be ten. And then the amount will do uh, 365. And if I didn't make a mistake here and I press enter, okay, so you can see, okay, we have our division, okay, our customer, our sales rep, and the amount. And we'll go ahead and insert those. And one row inserted, and let's go ahead and query the file now and take a look at it. And there we go. So it inserted the data, but because we are using that default, uh, to today, it automatically populates that for you. So that's kind of a nifty little feature um, in some of your tables that could come in handy when you um, when you build them. Okay, um, and now uh, so the the not null fields. Uh, let's go ahead and run through an example of what will happen if you try to insert data uh, into uh, a file uh, that has um, a field that you um, requires data um, where it can't be null, uh, but you're going to try to do it anyway. So we'll do insert into SQL course sales, okay, customer, sales rep amount. So uh, if we actually, if we flip, uh, let me just page up here real quick. And if you remember right here, we created this division table, right? But we said not null. So it, uh, the way it was defined using um, the uh, create statement was that it's going to uh, require some sort of data in that field. But in here, we're, I'm going to try and skip over it, okay? So, and then let's see, we go here and then values. And we'll do, we're saying customer, sales rep, and an amount. 